Giving yourself a tattoo is stupid and dangerous and lasts forever. Why would you let your kid, your beautiful child, do that to themselves? You wouldn't. You would never, right? I don't think you should. I wouldn't let my, like, I wouldn't let my daughter, she's six, she can't tattoo herself. There's just no way. Maybe when she's nine, uh, if she came to me with the same question, I would say, why are you doing this again? And it, I would start to worry. Luckily, she just sees me doing it and it's confusing, but I don't have to like actually deal with the request. But maybe you do. There's a lot of, I know, there's a lot of kids out there who are just giving themselves tattoos. And it's kind of cool, but it's also uh, a little sad. In my, from what I can tell, from from what I can tell, uh, most of the most of the young people who give themselves tattoos are doing it because there's something seriously wrong in their lives. Maybe what's wrong is that they just care so much about being cool. That's why I give myself tattoos, not uh, out of sadness. I've been pretty depressed lately, though. That's why I don't give myself tattoos, or haven't been. I don't know. It's it's different for everybody, but. But the people, a lot of the people who are doing it, who are giving themselves tattoos, it's because they like that it hurts. And there's just no other way to like get around that, especially uh, if they're being impulsive about it. Like young folks typically, uh, you know, we know what they're doing. They're just, they're just getting sewing needles, uh, ideally, like that's your best case scenario. There's also kids who are using like uh, dang safety pins and tacks. They'll just get a tack and run a lighter on it. And then they, if they, they know that if they push hard enough and if there's ink on it, it'll make a tattoo. And you know that's like super dangerous, and way more dangerous than if they had like a proper tattoo needle or again, like a sewing needle. I'm not saying that anybody should be using a sewing needle to tattoo themselves. But like, if that's what you find out that your kid used to tattoo themselves, and if you find out that they used some like basic sanitizing principles, then that's like best case scenario right now. Unless you help, unless you like sort of intervene here when you find out that they wanna give themselves a tattoo and you get them the proper supplies and you help guide them to make sure that their tattoo isn't stupid or in a bad spot or that they do it in a way that's unsafe, right? I'm not, this isn't, again, you shouldn't let your kid tattoo themselves. But if you find out that your kid's gonna tattoo themselves, then maybe instead of like freaking out and saying, no, just say no to tattoos, you could like think about this for a second and like address the situation, realize that the person that you love most is going through something very strange that they might never tell you about, but what they are willing to tell you about is that they've come up with a solution to their internal problems and it's to tattoo themselves instead of cutting themselves. This is a very smart, actually, decision to make for a young person because you're like taking the necessary steps to turn a negative feeling and a negative urge, this very compelling idea that like, oh, I should just, I should just kill myself. No, please don't. Instead, what if we get a tattoo? Hey, and then you can look at that and be like, oh yeah, my tattoo. Instead of looking at like scars on your body because you did something really stupid. So there's like some simple things you can do to help, sorry, I'm getting like, this is a very emotional subject. So like, take this very seriously. This isn't, it's not just, oh, kids wanna get tattoos, if they are. If a kid is showing you this video and, or if your, your kid is pretending to be depressed so that they can give themselves a tattoo because it would be cool, you, you slap that kid upside the head or talk to them about how that's wrong. That's what I would do. But if you wanna slap your kid for that kind of stuff, that's maybe a situation where that would be okay. It's never okay to slap your kid. But if you're, if you're, if you're pretending to commit suicide so, you're, so you can get a tattoo, that's stupid. But if you're getting a tattoo to stop yourself from committing suicide, hey, 
now we're on to something. So if you're gonna do it, make sure that you use hydrogen peroxide. And I don't necessarily agree with the idea of using a lighter on the spoon that you're gonna put the ink in, but if that's what you're gonna do, it technically does work. Just make sure to let it cool down and don't put it on a stupid, on like something that's gonna burn because these stay hot for a second. But obviously the best thing you could do is just get some good old chemicals get a paper towel out of a fresh roll that you didn't drop in the bathroom or something. Like have a roll designated, this is the clean roll, or get some, dang parents, maybe you could get some actual medical supplies that will properly do this. I'm stupid and I just do it. I mean, there's like a 99% level of this and if you wanna go 100%, Amazon has everything you need to do this. And maybe I should have links so that I can make money off of this, but not right now. Right now is about safety. This isn't open, so I'm gonna continue anyways because I'm a stupid teenager. And this is what happens when you don't help. Now luckily, I was able to find a tattoo needle, uh, I guess, in, if I was a teenager and I have a tattoo needle, but maybe if I had a cool parent who could get me a single-use needle, it's sterile in the package, and then they just open it, right? No big deal. This thing's, you know this is clean, and now if somebody gets an infection, you can sue a company instead of yelling at your kid, right? So there's like steps we can take here to protect everybody. Now, the other thing that you would wanna do, because if you're not if you're not paying attention, your kid's gonna bust open a ballpoint pen and put it on a safety pin and stab themselves with it. Do you really, you don't want that. So maybe pick up some tattoo ink if they've expressed interest, just get some. What, who can, you're not supporting bad act, you're supporting a positive, solution to a very serious problem that after you get the tattoo ink you should look into therapy for your or maybe just talk to him there's always just talking to your kid maybe that hasn't happened yet i don't know if you if you think that i'm being stupid for saying that but uh anyways so <clears throat> This is safe. This is good for tattooing. As long as, and if you're paying attention and your kid is putting it somewhere that's been st sterilized, not like that, but then when they dip the sterilized needle in the ink, it's totally cool. And then they can just stab themselves with it. Right? And then they'll have a tattoo and it kind of hurts a little bit, but they're focused, it's like, it's like art. So uh, art over killing over self-harm. Art, self-heart, art. Okay, I'm just saying. 